Hello and welcome back to the Tuesday Checklist, the weekly show where we pick a fun topic of discussion and all laugh at each other for 15 minutes or so. In case you didn't know, Zanki Zero Last Beginning is out on PS4 now, a post-apocalyptic survival game with eight protagonists and one lovely art style. This got us thinking, if you had just 13 days left to live and you could only play one game, your last game, what would that game be? See if you can guess what I'm going to pick. Right, so if I had just 13 days to live oh, and... I wish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Straight in with the banter. Maybe we should start again. <laughs> if I had 13 days to live and I could... Is it just one game? I could only play one game only for one. these 13 days. Well, I was thinking about this and there are a bunch of games I've not finished yet just because I've not had the time to devote to these massive things. So I was thinking maybe I could just play through and finish Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Red Dead Redemption 2. But then I thought, I'm going to die. <laughs> and I just want to spend my remaining days playing the one game I know is just going to give me constant joy over those 13 days. And that game is uh, Skyrim. Obviously Skyrim oh. is a game that whenever I'm stuck and I'm at home, and you know sometimes you get that sort of overwhelming sort of, I don't know what to play, and you just cycle through your library. It's like, maybe I'll play that. Actually, I should be playing that. All the time, whenever I land on Skyrim, I'm like, oh, yes. Let's just play Skyrim. If I've got a couple of hours, I can just put, load up my Skyrim save. I can wander around in Skyrim. And despite the fact I've played uh, probably 300 hours of it when it originally came out on PS3, at least another 80 to 100 hours of the PS4 version, something new always happens. Whenever I play Skyrim, something, just a different variation on something or something surprising will always happen. Or I'll find a cave I've never been in before or just something hilarious will happen. I was playing it for capture the other day and I went to find a frost troll and an NPC ran up to me asking if I wanted to go on this quest with him. And this frost cop troll just was running up behind him and just <laughs> sort of smacked him out the way <laughs> in the middle of him delivering his, his quest <laughs> request to me. So he just goes, if you see a person around here who stops, <laughs> <laughs> just stuff like that. It's just, oh, it's wonderful. It's just genius and it's, I think the reason I like Skyrim so much is it because it allows you to let your imagination fill in the blanks. It's almost like a tabletop game in that sense. Like it leaves so much to your imagination, and I, I can just I can play that game for I can play that game forever, and I will just never get bored of it. What, what are you doing in your current? Are you like building lots of different characters and playing through multiple times, or is this one save and you just go and explore the world? At the moment, it's <laughs> it's a it's a mess basically of various different characters because my my time with Skyrim now is quite fractured because I load it up usually to capture something specific for a Friday feature video, and so it will be oh for this video I need to stand in a lake and slowly pan around this beautiful scene, or I need to go and murder some NPCs in their sleep. So a lot of my saves actually now. <laughs> Yeah. I can't remember where they're from, so I load a save up and instantly the sort of dramatic fight music is, is, <laughs> is loading in. I'm like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> and it will load up and I'm outside. It loads me, auto loads me outside the tavern in uh, White Run, in White, White Run, for instance, <laughs> and all the guards are just after me. So it's like, oh man, past Skyrim me has obviously been doing something naughty. So there's not really one thread I've got going at the moment. I've got various different characters in various states of leveledness um, but it is a game that I can just turn on and just lose myself in it like you just go and explore some Dwemer ruins it's so big I don't think there's I don't think there's it's ever possible to completely explore everything that Skyrim has to offer even if you finish all the quest lines there are constant reoccurring like miscellaneous quests that will just pop up and auto generate and that you can do and it is a game that you could I would happily sink the last 13 days of my life in, into Skyrim. If all I could do was play a game for the last 13 <laughs> days of my life, it, it would have to be Skyrim. Right, I was thinking long and hard about this because there are many options you could do with something like this. I thought, do I play a game that I've never played before? And then I thought, but then I've only got 13 days and what if I don't finish it? I'll only get really angry at myself. And then I thought about a big open world game like Skyrim where you can have endless possibilities, but then I'd think, I'm going to die. I want to like kind of know that I've ended the story and I've completed what I wanted to do. 
So I thought if I've got 13 days to live, I'd want to go to like a bit more of a sentimental route. And I'm going to pick uh, the Crash Insane Trilogy purely because I've always wanted to 100% complete all the games, like platinums on everything and com like with all the time trials and stuff. And not only that, but Crash 3 was the first game I ever played. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, little baby me, like that's what I watched my dad <laughs> and my brother used to play and they used to have like Crash Bandicoot competitions where they called each other the Bandicoot King. And it's, You'd want I'm just, it to be the last game you ever played as well. Yeah, Comes so it's going to be the full circle, last game I've ever played. And it's not only that, but it's kind of a bit cheating because it's three games in one. Well, so sure. I'm going to be entertained definitely for those 13 days. But I also think if you're solidly playing it for 13 days, I reckon it's doable to kind of like get all of 100% oh, across everything. Yeah. Do you, do you mean like gold and platinum relics on everything as yes. well? I mean, it's well, pressure, isn't it? Imagine on the high road. Can you imagine the plan and relic on the high road? I've got 13 days, Rob. <laughs> that's the last thing you ever do. Imagine if it comes down to the last half day and there are a bunch of levels that you still have to get gold on. You're going to be... Imagine... Because the pressure on the high road when I played it for a stream was, like, crazy. Do you know what I mean? It's to be like, fair, well, I, have never, I haven't even finished Crash 1 yet. I like, know well, I finished it, but I haven't got all the gems. I haven't completed it yet. So I've even the other week, I tried to like delve into it. And I was like, oh, I finally want to get all the gems on Crash 1. And then I just got on one of the ruins levels and I got so frustrated because <laughs> I was that close. I was that close. And then just this one stupid jump platform thing, it drove me nuts. And then I got told to turn it off because I wasn't going to go to sleep that night if I didn't. But that's what I mean, you've got 13 days. 13 it's, it's, days is it's you telling yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got told and then I had to face the facts that, I, that angry Rosie came out and I wasn't a very happy bunny. So then I controlled myself and thought, no, I'll just, even though I'm that close to the end of the level, I'll just leave it be for now. But that will be my goal in life. It does feel like you've maybe set yourself up for an incredibly stressful last couple of weeks on a... I'd say it's more like a healthy challenge, but think about if I complete, if I did it, like, and then on that 13th day, it's like, you know, kind of when you get the films and then you've got someone who's about to die, but they have a little, little smile. The accepting it. <laughs> <laughs> the acceptance. That would be me. If as soon as I see everything is like platinumed and everything is all perky and happy dory, I can, I can be that person. And maybe there's a little sun beach chair on the little line that was stuck on and I can just lie down there and just die happy and maybe, it'll be great. Maybe Obi-Wan had just platinum the insane trilogy. You know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah. Died, maybe that's what was happening. Maybe if you uh, hadn't done it yet and day 13 came along, Angry Rosie would come out and would somehow just stay alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just stubbornly yes. stay alive. Uh, my not spirit yet. will live on. <laughs> not yet. Like my fighting spirit, I'll just get my hands yeah. as they're shaking and I'll just complete that final moment. Exactly but a sentimental game, but also a healthy challenge and a life goal that I have. I think that'll be, I think that'll be a good sort of 13 day kind of game to play. Yeah. And they're just really fun and I love them in general. So <laughs> at least I will be having a cracking time on those 13 days before I die. <laughs> 13 days, interesting. What does it mean? Why? Are we on an island? Is it a ticking clock? I love how the biggest question we're all asking How is, will I why? die? Why? <laughs> why, why have you done this? Why are we dying? I think, you know, uh, I've thought about a lot about this and um, I think you'll be surprised by my answer. I did think if, uh, first of all, if I'm not on an island by myself and Rob's up for it, I'd probably, we, I'd, do, I'd be up for a Pez Master League oh. for 13 days. <laughs> So you're say not, not you, Nath, you're not, you're not invited. Thanks. Um, but assuming that I am alone, <laughs> uh, he'd probably turn me down anyway. Assuming that I am alone, I have chosen a game. So I thought about this a lot. I thought, we've all said this, do we want to play a new game? Do we want to play something I've already played? Should it be a big open world game that will keep me entertained, you know, with lots of different stories? Do I want to play something, you know, that will make me think or whatever? I didn't want any of that because I thought, I don't want to, I, if I'm about to die, I don't want to be thinking about it. I don't want a game that like is really poignant, makes me think, you know, I don't want to, an open world game, there's no, you know, what if I've left things undone by the, the end of the 13 days? I don't want that. So I've chosen something quite different. I've chosen GT Sport. <laughs> GT Sport. That's right. Let me tell Gran you. Turismo. Let me. That's right. Gran Turismo Sport. Let and me tell wow. you why. I knew you liked it, but I didn't know it was like last game ever territory. Well, it's because uh, it's because I think it fits the some certain criteria. First of all, one of my childhood dreams <laughs> was to be a racing driver. Was it? It Aww, was. It was. Did. 
And you might know that in GT Sport, it's FIA kind of like approved or whatever. You can literally earn a racing license. We had that whole idea about getting you to drive in a real car. Yeah, I know, I'd love to. It's a bit I'm still up for it. I know, we should still do it. Worse than that, I've, there's a small part of my brain that thinks that I'd be all right at it. Thinks like, you know, if you were just given a shot, you could act, you probably could be a racing driver. No one just gave you a chance. No That's one's given me a chance. And a the chance. problem with, with GT Sport, a game like GT Sport, is that it takes time. You know, like racing games are learning, learning track, learning courses. You're not going to just go around five times and get a really good time and that's it, onto the next course. Like if you want to be really good at it, if you want to compete, then you, you have to play these things for hours. Like you have to go over and over and iterating, like learning the course, trying different braking points, finding out the different car. You know, it's not even one car. There's like hundreds of cars in the game. Um, so there's so much learning to be done. I think this is the perfect use of time. I might right, just pick one. Right before one... you're dead. Right well, because you because if I can earn my racing, my actual real world racing driver license, yeah, I think I've added a word driver there. <laughs> I think it's just a racing license. I feel like that will be an accomplishment. Imagine that on the gravestone. I could. He by the way, he was a racer. Oh yeah, he was a racer. Did you know he drove? Dave, the racer. Jackson. Yeah, he had a license. He's got a license. <laughs> He's got a racing license. Oh my god! That I is wish very. That is very cool. And there'd be like one poignant man at the back of the crowd saying, "But he couldn't outrun time." <laughs> <laughs> That's true. His race is over. Uh, he's taken the checkered flag. But I could play against people online. Uh, you know, there are kind of like, I hesitate to say lessons, but like certainly videos, in-depth videos with Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. Like. I've forgotten how many times he's won it now. Is it five? Five times world Lewis champion? Lessons. Might be four. World champion of of the world. <laughs> of F1. <laughs> Arguably the greatest driver currently driving. I don't want to get into, you know, let's not go let's go not go too big. Um, this is I just think it's like a, a massive wealth. This is like a little slightly extra one, and this one is just a bonus, really, because you guys are still looking at me like I might have gone mad. Is that I really like photography. <laughs> 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 There's a whole mode in GT Sport called Scapes because because uh, it, where they've modelled actual cameras. You know, like a lot of games have photo modes, and I think they're fantastic. I think they're really, really brilliant. But GT Sport one, one went one better, and rather than having a photo mode, it has like cameras in it like you have to set ex you can set exposure and shutter speed and you know like all the real ISO stuff levels. exactly mm. and take those beautiful cars all around the world so uh gt sport for me if i had 13 days honestly i would love it i would just get a spotify playlist on the go and i'd get on the nurburgring and i'd just drive and drive and drive and i'd follow my ghost it's the most kind of like moorish thing it's like it's pure one more lap it, because I think it would keep my mind off it as well. Let's be honest, there's 13 days. It doesn't matter how much Crash Bandicoot you're playing. <laughs> At the end, you're thinking, oh God, tomorrow. Whereas I'm thinking, one more lap. Just one more lap. Keep on going. Yeah, but I'm also keep thinking, on oh, driving. one more race with Polar. Like, oh, one more, <laughs> one more bike race. See, now we can have a competition. You don't have a Polar racing license, though. I do. <laughs> I can do. Can we organise it that you like play the game to get a license for 12 days and on the 13th you casually I'm play, killed. But the, no, the 13th day, just before you die, you're casually racing but the license arrives. At the That's island, what I want. And then you can hold the license in your hand. Exactly, I'd hold it like this, hold go to sleep. Close to your heart. So there you go, GT Sport. That's what I would play. 13 days, that'd be glorious. Absolutely brilliant. I'd love that because I think I'd be really good. I will need a, a chair, a racing wheel, pedals, pedals the car. works. So that's me, yeah. Racing driver extraordinaire. Um, so my game, if I had 13 days, are we on an island, by the way? I've been picturing an island. I picked like a, a happy little island. Is it a sandy, either. sandy island, green island? I don't I prefer think it a green island. But I don't want to be on an island because that means that the 13 days is you starving to death. And that's going to make playing a game harder at the end. But then at the same time, if, if whatever, whoever has condemned me to death in 13 days has set me up with a PlayStation 4 and a TV, yeah. then surely they can get some catering. Yes. It's a strange one, so isn't it? So why are you dying at the end of 13 days? I'm not Questions. sure. Questions. I know. Yeah. What game are you going to play for, for another day? days? I'm going to play The Witcher 3 Wild oh, Hunt. Hey, there is it. Of is. course I am. I no. literally said to you downstairs, don't do The Witcher 3. Yeah, but I've got a really good reason to do it. Okay. Which is, as you know, Dave, I haven't learned how to play Gwent. 
That is you know, amazing. I can't go to my grave not knowing how to play Gwent, Gwent can I? Gwent is brilliant. What's uh, Gwent? Oh, oh my lord. lord. <laughs> you know me, I haven't delved into the Witcher yet. It's oh. a card game, Rosie, which is... Um, within the world of the Witcher, you yes. play a card game and you can... Yeah. It's basically a whole game within the Witcher. You know, like... Um, one of those Final Fantasy ones. <laughs> so it's like a whole system that you can interact with, and actually they've taken it out of the CD Projects has taken it out of The Witcher and made it into its own game, which you can play. I believe it's still it's free, free to play. Free to play on oh, uh, nice. PlayStation Four. Uh, slightly different rules and stuff, but the base game is similar. Um, I, a, I can't really explain it because I've never learned to play it. There's Thronebreaker as well, I believe. Thro Ooh, and that's the standalone version, which was the not Gwent, but it's similar. Yeah, and there's like a narrative to it, yeah. and it was the first game that I emailed Holly about. Please, can I have a free Coke? Can I have a job? <laughs> um, yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> getting a free game. Um, so, and I, I haven't platinumed The Witcher Three, and it's m probably my favourite game on PlayStation Four. Um, and so, learning Gwent and getting the platinum at the same time, you know. But that, what a good use of my last right. 13 days either on Earth or on this weird island somewhere that a, yeah. a billionaire madman has trapped me on to murder me and feed me. So, yes, um, I think that works pretty well. Mm. Um, and I don't think I would play the game differently. I think mostly I like the choices that I made the first time round in terms of who I was romancing, Yennefer of Vengabus, obviously. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think that was the right choice for me. She's coming. For my <laughs> I think that was the right choice for my Geralt. Uh, I love spending time with Geralt. Can you not say my Geralt again? <laughs> my Geralt. He's, he's mine. Because everyone's got their Geralt, but my one, you know, I love that guy. He's like just, he's like, he's weary, you know, right. he's rugged, um, but he's fair, Dave, you I'm know? Right. So uh, I feel like spending, a, who, who better to, to spend my last, and obviously I've had uh, dinner with, uh, with the voice of, I don't know if oh, I've mentioned God, it before on the, it. Oh. on the channel, but um, yeah, I've had dinner with. Uh, well, with I think you dropped a name Cockle. there, Nate. <laughs> Sorry, well, actually, no. you didn't drop a name. No. You just dropped. <laughs> I've not dropped it. I spray painted it <laughs> on the floor a long time ago. Um, so that's what I would do. I'd have to play it through on Death March. Um, yeah. I would do a couple of things differently. I think that I would pay more attention to how quickly the timer goes down right at the end of the botchling mission at the Red Baron section yeah. of the game because it was like, hey, you've got to make a choice. Oh, the choice is gone and that's Too a monster late. now. What are you going to do? Life and I, lesson. Yeah, and so I had to fight a big scary baby. Um, and I would probably try and do the more humane way of doing that because I was really enjoying that mission um, up until that point. Um, what else I would do? I accidentally um, did the deed with one of the sorceresses. I basically tried my best not to. Sure. Sometimes that game is like, makes it very difficult to not get into bed with somebody. Oh, my clothes are off. I tell you, <laughs> how it was, does this happen? It was exactly that. And I didn't want it, you know? And I felt <laughs> oh, afterwards God. I would say used. I, I would, I, it's that strong. Um, so I wouldn't do that either, because now I know what I'm doing. All right. Uh, now that is a thing in the DLC, I really noticed it. It was like, hey, do you want to, how about this person? I was like, yeah, we're just friends. And they're like, are you sure? No, really, we're just friends. I, like, so many times. Oh, um, so I, I would if that. I played it, no one would even look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in your pants edition. <laughs> Starring Dave Jackson. So that's me. I'm on, I'm on the island for 13 days, eating burgers, uh, learning Gwent, playing on Death March, getting the platinum for my favourite PS4 game. Big curve screen. Oh, also uh, PSVR. As well, because it's got yeah. the VR. And the burgers yeah. as well. You also and the burgers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh man, thirteen days to live. You know imagine the diet Hamilton. I would have for thirteen days is, to live. This has moved from oh my god, what if I only had to imagine if I had thirteen days to just play a game? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> that would be amazing. It'd be great. What you're describing here is university, gents. Let's all go to university again. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments what game you'd play if you only had 13 days left on Earth. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you're bang up to date with all of our content. See you soon. For the players.